I'm Mark. How are you today? He opened the window, although I told him not to. They decided not to leave, not that anyone would miss them. Even if he had time to review the lesson, he wouldn't. Much as I like Toronto, I wouldn't live there. The firm had a year of profit, in spite of paying higher taxes. Though no attractive, physically, she possessed a great personality. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at concessive clauses, so stay tuned! A clause which begins with a subordinating conjunction is called a subordinating clause. There are three kinds of subordinating clauses, adverbial, relative, and reported. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at adverbial clauses. There are eight types of adverbial clauses. Conditional, purpose, reason, result, place, manner, time, and concessive clauses. If you wish to watch a lesson on time clauses, you can click here. Concessive clauses are used when you have two statements and you want one to contrast or short surprise with the other one. Some concessive clauses are although, despite, even if, even though, though, except that, in spite of, much as, not that, etc. Let's look at how to use them. So, of course, the first one will be to contrast. And we use although, though, even though, or while. Like in my example. He opened the window, comma, although I told him not to. So, here we show a contrast with the main clause. So, I, he opened the window, although contrast, although I told him not to. Let's take a look at another example. While John did well at high school, comma, he wasn't admitted to college. So, we have a contrast. While John did well at high school, then he wasn't admitted to college. What about if you don't want to use although? You can replace it with not that. But pay attention, because we need to change the sentence, so the sentence has to be negative. Let's take a look at my example. They've decided not to leave, not that anyone would miss them. So, let's take a look at this sentence. They've decided not to leave. And then we have dash. Dash is important here. Not that, and here is the concessive clause. Anyone would miss them. Not that anyone, so that's a negative statement. Anyone, because we have anyone. Not that anyone would miss them. It's also the first conditional, right? If you wish to watch a lesson or two lessons about the first conditional, you may click here. You can use even if to say that something which is probably true does not affect the truth of something else. For example, even if he had time to review the lesson, he wouldn't. This is an example of the second conditional. So, even if he had time to review the lesson, he wouldn't. What about if you want to show your strong feeling? Then you use much as instead of although. Let's take a look at my example. Much as I like Toronto, I wouldn't live there. It's the same as saying, although I like Toronto very much, I wouldn't live there. Pay attention. I said, although I like Toronto very much, I wouldn't live there. I prefer to use much as I like Toronto because it shows a strong feeling if I use much as. The next point, use despite and in spite of at the beginning of a non-definite concession clause just like my example. The firm had a year of profit, in spite of paying higher taxes. I could have said, despite paying higher taxes, comma, the firm had a year of profit. Remember that despite takes ing verb. So, despite paying higher taxes and so on. I could have said, although they paid higher taxes, 
the firm had a year of profit. So I'm going to erase this and we're going to take a look at the last point. So we're back with the last point. Are you ready? Although, though, while, or whilst, which is a formal way to say while, are also used in front of noun groups, adjective groups, and adjuncts. So instead of saying he agreed on their terms, though he had many reservations, you can even say he agreed on their terms, though with many reservations. So you can replace he had many reservations with a noun group, though with many reservations. So one of my introductory examples was, although she wasn't physically attractive, she possessed a great personality. And to replace it with an adjective group, we can even say, though not physically attractive, she possessed a great personality. As you can see, we have many ways of saying the same thing using concessive clauses. So can you complete this sentence? Mm. You take your car to work, you'll still miss your appointment. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, requests, or if you want to post your own example, please type them under this video. Don't forget I have a community section in my channel, so please take part of it. Have a great day and see you next week with a new English lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.